Welcome back to the Rope Access Channel. In this video, we'll be going into passing a large re-anchor with a casualty. Let's get into it. Today I have with me Peter, who is joining in and just hanging out for a while. He was kind enough to play the casualty. We've already done a Chester Sander rescue or the crawl rescue. He's suspended in me in two points. We have the little rescue set or the short connection and a cow tails between us. He's nice and comfortable wearing the seat, so I can focus on going through the large re-anchor. How to do a crawl rescue, you can watch it in the video up there. The large re-anchor, we're going to do exactly the same as we do it without a casualty, meaning we descend a little bit, climb up a, bit, a little bit, descend a little bit, climb up a little bit, and try to always keep a little bit of a loop below us. In another video, you've already been able to see you can watch it up there. I show you how to ascend in your descender the easy way. And that's the way we are going to ascend with a casualty attached to us. First things first, let's get some backups going. So I have a look and see where Peters went. Somewhere over here. I get a second backup. Attached to the harness. Now I always like to use the same rope for my backup as for my... Am I doing it right? This is my backup, so I need to be in here. I always like to use the same rope for my backups and the same rope for my descenders. So these two are connected. Now, you could always bring two descenders and multiple devices, but we're going to go easy and like we're not prepared for this and just take our casualties gear. I mean, they've been foolish enough to get into trouble, so we can get a little bit of pay from that. Rope management, so I'm watching all the time how the ropes will end up after I've thread them in the devices. I give myself a little bit of tension to the side, because that will usually make everything a little bit more clear. And I have these mic wires, which are almost getting tangled. All right. We are set up. Let me tell you what we've done. Backups high. I have my rig, which is my main descender right now, and will be transferring into this ID. I have the short connection or the rescue set through both descenders connected. So if I transfer from this to that one, then Peter will always be suspended in a descender. It's the same as with a rope-to-rope -rope transfer with a casualty, which you can see in the video up here. Now I'm ready to descend down. I have my friction beaner in. I descend a little bit. Take care that the backup device runs freely. I descend for a while, something like this. And now I want to start moving that way. Now I could go this far, all on arms, but I'm so weak that I can't go any further. So what do I do? I get an ascender. Yeah, for it. I get a carabiner. Or if you're really fancy, oh, we will be real, real fancy. I mean, he's got the gear. You take one of these roll clips. And... Thread the tail end coming out of your descender through the roll clip, or this could be a carabiner. You could attach it here, you can attach it here. I choose for this. So now I can 
I sort of created a pulley system. Now, an interesting conversation is, is this a 3 to one or a 2 to one How should we view this? Think about that and leave a comment what you think. I open the descender, give it a little pull. And as you can see, I'm already using a way too much arms. And if we're climbing for a week, going for our, our uh, reassessment, then we won't be able to make it all week. Time to look for ascenders. Exactly what I need. A doubled up foot loop. I take another jumer or ascender. I have a foot loop in. And it's doubled up right now. I said it's exactly what I need, but I'm not so sure. We'll see. I put my foot in. I push down in that direction. Open the descender. I push down in that direction. I watch my angles and what are we seeing? I'm going too far. So we descend down a little bit more. What a mess. I'm gonna put my foot in again and push that way and it's gonna be in one motion. Open the descender. I make two steps, lock it off. And as you can see, I'm trying to take care that I have a little bit of slack here, so there's room to move. Descent a little bit more. Watching those angles. Nice, easy, and controlled. Now, is this something you want to do? No, because no matter how good you are at it, it's just hard work. So I think we're getting close to where we want to be. Checking the system again. I think we're far enough. Descent further. We are far enough. Take my foot out of the foot loop. Keep descending. Like this. So that was part one of the exercise because we still have these knots that, that anchor point up there to pass. So I'm keeping Peter's back towards the structure so I can use my feet to get him comfortable and protect him from all the hazards that are here. I'm far enough down that I do not need to ascend anymore over there so I can start clearing out some of this system over here. Stealing all the gear. Right. I will descend a little bit further. Take out the friction carabiner. <laughs> oh my god. Take out the descender. Take out my backup. Adjust my feet position a little bit. Do some more rope management. One, two. So I want to move over into these set of ropes because we need to go down to the ground. To do that, 
in the best way would probably be to change this to the other side. Pick one of the ropes. Now I have taken care with the new carabiner of the new descender, or uh, yeah, the new descender on the other side, to again catch this, catch this carabiner as well in the short connection. Now this floor is very slippery, so let's keep moving. To complete the rope management, I will attach my backup on this side because this is the loop side and this, that side will be my new system. I descend down a little bit. I don't need a friction carabiner for this because it's only a very small uh, move and I will get straight into the new descender. Take out the rope. Dicht. Take out the backup. Get the friction carabiner going. So this re-anchor rescue was brought to you by Industrial Klimmen. Industrial Klimmen is a beautiful training center in warmer fair in the Netherlands where you come, can come for your IRATA training, your GWO training, your basic working at high tower climbing, anything in between. We do rope rescue trainings, teach fire departments, everything. If you need any of this fancy gear, you can follow the link in the description and get a nice little discount and you support the channel as well. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and we will see you in the next one. Stay connected. Super chess. Oh no, hold on.